going to do now is we're going to finalize. This is part two of three for the uh, 18 inch foot and a half, full foot and a half monkey, crazy monkey wrench. Okay, so we're going to go uh, post this up on YouTube. And uh, even though we only have one subscriber, hopefully we'll get some views on it and uh, we'll get some input. Uh, what people think we should do as far as, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, restoration as far as, you know, uh, should we blue it? Should we, uh, should we clean it all up really well and, and uh, leave it mostly original? Or should we, uh, you know, grind everything nice and flat, flush and true, and then polish it out? You know, what should we do? So, uh, hopefully we'll get some, some feedback I would say that uh, it's definitely going to help in my decision. Um, I think I know what I want to do, but uh, I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions, especially if multiple people suggest the same thing. All right? So hopefully uh, I'll see something like that up there. In the meantime, we'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button. That way we can get past one subscriber, okay, and, uh, you know, continue to build the channel. All right, so we got our 18-inch monkey wrench all right and we are going to take the handle for this the first thing we need to do is we need to remove this uh fastener okay it looks like uh that there's a little circle here we got to punch out i'm going to put a little sandpaper on that actually i'm going to use a piece of uh Grass wool. Just really, that there is a pin there. You can see the outline of it. All right. So we're going to take a a basic punch, a punch set that I purchased from Harbor Freight Tools. We're gonna get ourselves a hammer. Bring in my one of my <laughs> favorite hammers. Okay, and uh, it's got like a 13 ounce head on it. I don't know, I just love it. This was a regular claw hammer, but one of the claws had broken off, so I turned it into a uh, little custom job, if you will. All right, and uh, it's a fiberglass handle, but I wrapped it in leather, make it a little bit more comfortable and. Get a nice grip on it. All right, so we'll go ahead and apply some downward force to this pin here. Let's see what happens. There's nothing, no movement. I'm thinking what they must have done was put a bolt in there with a screw, and then they and then they shaped this afterwards and ground it off. Because let me tell you something, I put a lot of downward pressure with a hammer and a punch on that, and that will not come out. Alright, as you can see, I just tried to drive that pin out, but it will not come out, so I guess it's screwed on. I thought it was I thought it was in there, but you know what? The handles are cracked anyway. You can see here it's cracked, it's cracked over here. Another crack, you know, so I'm going to have to replace these handles anyway. So what we'll do is we'll just break the handles off. All right, for this operation, we're going to get some hand protection. Make sure we don't get any nasty splinters. So I got my uh, nice hardy, brand new set of hardy professional series. Real tree, looks like, or camo. Tell you what, if I was doing some MMA, we'd be good with these too. Right. Oh, look at that. Proof's in the pudding. There's actually a nut on there, and you can see the threads. It just popped off. So sure enough, I was right on that. They put that on there, and then they ground it down. And then from there, we can simply remove the inside of that. It looks like it's fairly new. I can't believe that, especially how rusty it was on the outside. 
Tap that out. Yeah. All right. So this was this was definitely replaced at, at, at uh, some point in time. I can tell you because that's a carriage, a, a later carriage bolt. All right. So I'm stunned that this was as rusty as it is in this section, and the bolt on the inside is not rusty. That's really wicked. All right. We'll set that to the side. And then we've got our uh, piece. We have a little little spider nest going on there. We got the back and the shop back. <laughs> out of that and also a lot of the uh, you know the large bulk of large amount of rust and, and whatnot off of that tool so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to submerge this in 30% uh, vinegar for uh, I don't know I'm thinking maybe 24 hours all right just don't tell my wife I got uh, one of her good roasting pans here she made this year's turkey in this. Got a nice little calm in there. Yeah, really good looking, really good looking bird. <laughs> Actually, I gotta make a correction here. We named the bird this year Charlie because uh, uh, my one of my nieces, uh, her new uh, fiance, his name is Tom. So we didn't want to uh, offend anybody for the holiday. So we. Uh, we renamed the turkey this year to uh, Charlie. So let's go ahead and put the monkey wrench in the roasting pan. And submerge that nicely in 30% uh, vinegar. Probably. Uh, Probably the best solution, I think, to use to remove rust, corrosion from iron. All right, so we've got that submerged in 30%, uh, and uh, we're going to let that sit overnight. We're going to let that sit for 24 hours. We'll be back tomorrow, and hopefully in the meantime, notice her good pan missing. Hopefully she's not planning on making some lasagna or uh, or a ham. All right, and uh, that's about it. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we just took it out of the 30% uh, vinegar after 24 hours. Now we got it submerged in uh, some warm water and some soap. We're just going to clean up whatever residual rust is still on there.
my wife back her pen. All right, we'll clean it up real good first, though. Maybe she won't notice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we got a leak in the pan here. I think we got a problem here. Uh-oh. Wife's not going to be happy. That was a good pan. That was a good pan. Uh, I'm not going to be getting any lasagna this, this Sunday. I have to take her out for dinner. among other that this does is it inhibits corrosion okay so it displaces moisture so I'll put a nice coating of that on there Unlike most of the new cars today, yeah, maybe they have technology, but they just don't. They don't have the style uh, uh, like they used to. And honestly, I don't think they last as long either. I mean, look at this piece. This piece is, I mean, it's steel, but it's worth saving, even though it's so old. This is really a beautiful piece. It really is. As I uh, look at it more, clean it up more, I'm finding some marks on it, which uh, that one here looks like looks like a 38, a 3, and an 8. Um, I don't know. It's possible it was made in 1938. Is that what that mark is for? I, I don't know. Possibility. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised in the least. Beat up pretty good. You can see that. That took a lot of, a lot of hits. Somebody using that like as a hammer, kind of mashed down. So we're gonna really clean that up. I mean, almost tempted to be honest with you. To leave this as is because it's got all of this patina, if you will, on it. Oh, it's a tough decision, to be honest with you. Oh. for the tool restoration about a week ago. And I'd say if I had a bunch of followers that I thought might respond to an inquiry, I'd ask them, what do you think? Do you think I should leave it with the patina, or should I clean it up and make it look brand new or better than new? I'm going to, um, mean that I don't have the followers. Hopefully at some time, point in time I have some few. I got one right now. Um, yeah, maybe I could get some input. I would love to get to that point where I got input and I can do some, you know, future projects based on what people would like to see. 
as opposed to just what I think, you know. But uh, at this point, I'm just going to uh, go with what I think, all right? All right. The only thing I see, I really probably should research how to take this apart on the Internet. But you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I've, I've, I've tinkered with tools for a long time, pretty old, um, and I'm only seeing one point where there's a pin, and I'm so familiar with firearms, being an armor, uh, usually a pin, when you see a pin like this, um, I would say almost always it means it needs to be removed, okay, once that's removed, you probably have to be able to remove something else, so we're going to start with that pin. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, 5 16 punch, steel punch. Purchased as part of a set from Harbor Free Tools. Perfect size for this. Just uh, start punching on it. Oh, that was real easy. You know, I, I love liquid wrench. Liquid wrench, if I didn't apply that liquid wrench, I guarantee you that would have taken more and more effort to get that pin out. Let's get a, uh, a wood block set that on and drive that the rest of the way out. Look at that. Ow. I mean, that was, well, probably a combination of the vinegar sitting in there for 24 hours, or really ate away all the rust, but at the same time, that liquid, uh, liquid wrench, saturating it with that, I mean, it, I almost could have blown it out. That's how easy it came out. Now, let's see what we got now. Like there's no pommel on here. I mean, the pommel end doesn't have anything holding it. I'm thinking it's just bang. You know, it's probably just hammered on with some pressure. So we're just gonna try hammering it off. We'll use uh, the punch. That's not working because we had not holding it with anything. Let's get a vice on there. now so uh let's see what we can do here with this we're gonna bring out sledgehammer thing is really tough to get off. I was soaking it down for like the last, I don't know, 20 minutes with uh, liquid wrench super lubricant. And uh, really, really tight on there. You can see how much was used here cleaning up the rags here, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm just going to push it back on a little bit. Using a uh, like a three pound head. And I was just thinking to push up with it. There it goes. Beautiful. Finally. Wow. 
lot tougher than I thought it would be. Man, that vice is tight. Set the camera up for the other angle. We finally get the uh, monkey wrench apart. It was, uh, yeah, really tough. Uh, it was kind of, I guess, I guess they call it rusted slash bound to uh, to the uh, shaft of the shank or the, uh, yeah, the shank. I don't know. Beat up a little bit, taking it off. Not a big deal. We'll be able to clean that up nicely. All right. For now, we're gonna just put the uh, the main part. I'll call it part number one aside. We'll also put part number two aside for now, and we'll call it part number three the adjustment. Lower jaw. I want to get the adjustment screw out. Messy stuff, huh? All right. Put a little bit more liquid wrench on that. Some liquid wrench in there. So it doesn't re rust. Displace some of the moisture. wire wheel and clean up uh, part number one the shaft here uh, I want to see if after I clean it up I could slide it on easily on and off the handle which was very difficult to uh, remove and all right just uh, return from the wire wheel clean that shaft up with a shank uh, really well uh, just cleaned up the edge here a little bit I just wanted to test fit to see if we can get the uh, handle which was uh, bullishly difficult to uh, remove. Uh, I wanted to see if we could just get it to slide on there easily. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Not quite bottomed out, but uh, probably a couple easy taps. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Take it off. Nope. A couple taps. Yeah. Beautiful. Much, much better. Much better. I'm sure that once we clean up a couple of the burrs, it will slide on and off very, very easily. We're gonna it's good that it's a very tight fit. It's probably the way it should be, so we won't take uh, much material off at all. Take some off, like over here, the burrs, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, clean it up. But we're going to keep it as original as possible. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finalize. This is part two of three for the 18-inch uh, foot and a half, full foot and a half monkey, crazy monkey wrench. Okay. So we're going to go uh, post this up on YouTube, and uh, even though we only have one subscriber, hopefully we'll get some views on it, and uh, we'll get some input, uh, what people think we should do as far as, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, restoration as far as, you know, uh, should we blow it, should we uh, clean it all up really well and, and uh, leave it mostly original, or should we... Uh, you know, grind everything nice and flat, lush and true, 
and then polish it out. You know, what should we do? So uh, hopefully we'll get some some feedback that would say that uh, it's definitely going to help in my decision. Um, I think I know what I want to do, but uh, I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions, especially if multiple people suggest the same thing. All right. So hopefully uh, I'll see something like that up there. In the meantime, we'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button. That way we can get past one subscriber, okay, and, uh, you know, continue to build the channel. And hopefully uh, you're enjoying what you see here, and we can produce uh, uh, more videos. All right, we really appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks for making this a better world. And have a great day. See you tomorrow.